welcome back everyone so here uh, we will talk about little bit uh, the documentation which uh, sql is provide because it's a rich documentation and it provide you everything so here this is how we are creating the model uh, in our code also we did it in, in the same way like we created a module.export sqlized data type then we are defining the types we are doing some validations so how many attributes we can define how we can do the validations how we can add the association all these things first we will look into a documentation then we will come back to the code so here you can see this i am creating the foo table and here i am assigning the flag of type boolean allow null is false default value is true so these are three different attributes so these kind of attributes you can set so default value is another attribute if you wanted to put some default value then you can put like date if type is date and you wanted to put a default value is a current date then sqlize dot now similarly a lot of other things uh, let's talk about timestamp if you see in our table also it has created two created at and updated at two different fields which we haven't specified in our model so it automatically adding these two fields in our model so but you can also specify them so here i'm creating my table which is of id so how to define a primary key foreign key all these things so for primary key always type will be integer if that's a constraint from mysql that if it is a primary key of type integer auto increment is true it means id will get auto incremented otherwise it if you're not specifying any primary key then it is creating this auto incremented id for each and every table but you can specify like we can specify our own uh, primary key uh, let me copy this chunk of code here i can have a different name for this uh, key uh, you can see a uid which i wanted to have a primary key and now we are already uh, creating it forcefully uh, sqlize is not defined okay it's a small s okay now it should be fine for field uid which is equalize dot integer let me say it okay sqlize dot integer this is the field primary key is true okay unrecognized data type for field uid Okay. Okay, that was a small mistake which I did. So data types should be integer. Now you can see. So you can see UID is there. ID is gone. Now UID is there, which is a not null primary key. Okay. So similarly, you can define now. These are the data types. Uh, Sqlize dot integer. Either you can access that from the data types dot property, or you can access them from the Sqlize. Okay. Float real. So there is a correct mapping of these data types with the, the MySQL data types. MySQL fields has uh, integer, var, char. Float boolean. So there should be a correct mapping, and you need to take care of that. So it is a text and string. String has some limitations. Then there is a text. Okay, you can also have a type enum. Enum is type is restricting uh, your values to a particular uh, types. Uh, then you can also define the getter setters like this like employee uh, schema model i'm creating okay and i can define the getter and setter for each and every field like title i have set value so it is actually setting the value for the title okay and how to run these uh, create commands and all so let, let's do this for employee 
it will run the default uh, create command also so let me create employee so I'm defining it let me do a little bit changes here I, I can write date in the same way so that we have a consistency and I need to return employee sequelize dot define data types I will be using the type string data type is a string so make sure it is defined in the same way you can have accounts or employee okay so we are defining employee table which is having name and title is two properties and here I'm trying to insert some data into it Let's see. No, sorry for this. So there is some error while doing the validation rejection employee doesn't exist okay here we are trying to create table table test db dot employee doesn't exist okay that's fine so what we need to I'm just trying hint here Okay, now it has created it you can see the same name title are here and it has a so let's uh, run query on to it so we can see some data also in it right so one record is inserted into it because we are doing some additional operation on, on top of it so this is how we actually insert the data employee.create, employee.find these are simple uh, basic operations which uh, SQLize provides okay so th this always returns a promise so we are doing dot then and we got the employee so here I'm just trying to talk about this getter and setter so you are just hitting employee.get, employee.get so it will give you the name and title okay i think that that should be enough for this video uh, let's talk more in the next video